you had a very interesting uh, experience working with the Dead Sea Scrolls. As a student of history, that like mega history, almost ancient history, that must have been amazing. Uh, so just just to, uh, you know, some background in 1947, there was a shepherd boy who was looking for a goat of his that he lost. And he threw a stone into a cave. This is in Qumran, which is now present day uh, West Bank. And he heard some jars break open in in there lay the Dead Sea Scrolls, the oldest manuscripts of the um, of the Bible that are available to us now, and perhaps the most important historical manuscript find ever. You had a hand in trying to piece that together using very, you know, advanced biological, you know, uh, we're talking about sequencing, DNA sequencing. So if you can tell tell us how you got involved in that and, and a little bit uh, in regards to what you did to help push along that story. I mean, the thing about the skull, there are thousands of different pieces and it's a big challenge assembling them. It's like trying to assemble an unknown number of puzzles with an unknown number of pieces mm -hmm. when many of them are, are already missing. And he told me that there was a researcher many years ago who tried to look at, at holes that the worms made in the skulls because they were lying in caves for, for 2,000 years and, and trying to look at the entry point and the exit point of the worm in, in an attempt to match frag uh, fragments that are connected. Mm. And then we, we continued to think about this idea and we understood that biology, not only of nematodes, but of the, the, of the, the, the fragments themselves, the parchments themselves could help us. And what we did was we took advantage of the fact that the parchments are written on Animal skin. Yes. Are made from animal skin. So from each piece, we extracted the ancient DNA of the animal from which it was made 2,000 years ago. And then we tried to match the pieces based on their genetic similarity. We, we used ancient DNA sequencing. We sequenced literally billions of sequences. It was very deep sequencing. The coverage is extremely low and the DNA is very fragmented because it's ancient. And we manage in certain situations to piece some fragments together and also to piece apart certain fragments. And together with Noam and other people that gave us other um, perspectives uh, from an archaeological perspective, the biblical scholar expertise, uh, we managed to make some interesting connections between uh, some scrolls and also to, to break some connections that were suggested in the past. It's the most interdisciplinary project that I was part of. 